Hey, what's up guys, Lucas here. Before we start with this video, I have a surprise for you. This video that you're about to watch is part of a super in-depth course that I just finished creating called Digital Painting Master with over 50 videos charged with knowledge just like this one. And to celebrate the release of that course, I'm going to be making a completely free workshop sharing with you the three secrets of how regular artists turn to pros in months, not years. If you want to be part of this free workshop, the only thing that you have to do is click the link down in the description, put in your mail in the little box, and that is it. You will be receiving the info of the workshop in your mail very, very soon. Now, let's get to the video. All right, so pick colors that work well together. We are gonna talk about two different things, both are related to this subject, but there are different ones. The first one that we're gonna talk about is about color harmonies. And I'm sure that you have heard about those, you know, complementary, analogous, split complementary, and a bunch of other harmonies that artists like to use in their paintings. I am gonna grab those and I'm gonna simplify them to just two simple harmonies that are the ones that I consider encompass all the other ones so that it doesn't overwhelm you and so that you can start applying them in their work in your work as soon as possible. The second thing that we're gonna talk about is how once you select those colors to paint your characters, your environments, whatever you want, I am gonna teach you how I make that those colors work well together within the illustration. All right, so let's get started. Colors like to hang out, hang out with their families. And families means anything that make, that make these colors connected. There are several ways for us to connect colors, but these are some of them. They can be either connected by hue, they can be connected by saturation, like these ones are very desaturated. They can also be connected by value. These three are very high value. And also they can be connected by temperature. Like for example, these ones right here are, are the three of them warm. So any of these things, and I'm sure that there are others out there that I am missing right now, but these are what I what came to mind. Connect these colors and make them work as a family. All right. <clears throat> when you try to put colors that are both very strong and that they are not connected in any way, they don't get along. There are several ways for you to make this work, but one of my favorite ways, favorite ones is to come in here and add friends that stand in between these strong colors. This makes, again, for a nice family of colors that are all connected. If you check them out right here in the chromatic circle, I just simply grabbed the green, the orange, and I added colors in here in between to make it so that this is a family of colors. Now these type of palettes, the ones that use colors that are connected to each other are called analogous harmonies. And you can see that I use them often in my paintings. I grab those colors and I'm sure that you have seen many, many examples of paintings done with this method. It's kind of like, um, like a foolproof method, okay? This is the easiest way to, to make sure that these colors go well, work well with each other, but also it can be sometimes a little bit boring, a little bit predictable. That's when you want to include accents in your paintings. And this for me is the second type of harmony, accents. I call them accents or also complements. How do you use them? Well, the trick is to put them in the context of other family of colors that is complementary to this one. This type of, of, of position for the colors makes the accent look more vibrant just by being in the context of a family that is complementary to this one. So if you see this thing in context, Here's just one of the paintings that I found in my library in there that use complementary harmonies. And what you can see is that yes, in general, the whole painting is using blues, greens. So all of this cold part of the chromatic circle, right? But then I come in here and I add to the ear, to the eyes and to the lips that I want to be the focus of the painting, I add red. What this makes is that it keeps the family of colors together, right? We have this color, um, this cold family of colors right here, but <clears throat> the red works as a nice accent that brings attention to certain details that I wanted to call upon the, um, the viewer. 
okay so these ones are complementary harmonies they are very useful and for me those are the only two types of of harmonies that there are you either use colors that are all of them connected or you use colors that are connected with an accent a color that is usually opposite and it is small okay <clears throat> something very important to consider is that the trick is to have one of the families be dominant a mistake that I see a lot of artists do a lot is that they try to connect two different families. So the equivalent of that would be for me to just start putting red all over this painting until now you don't know which one is more dominant. Is it the colds that now dominate the character and the background or is it the reds? If I tone this whole character red, <clears throat> the red is gonna lose its uniqueness and its importance in this painting so it is very important that you use one family as the dominant color palette of your painting and then you use one small color as your accent all right so those are the two harmonies that i like to use in my paintings and that i recommend that you always use and now let me talk to you a little bit about my favorite way, the best way to make sure that colors go with each other. The best way, in my opinion, is light. Light is the great unifier of colors in nature. When you see colors in any type of environment, the thing that unites them, the thing that makes them look like they belong to the same world is the light that is in your scene. So I want to show you how I used light in this little painting right here. <clears throat> These are colors that I sampled out of the painting. You know, you have your blue hat, the red scarf and little em environment details like this grass and stuff like that have these colors right here. And you can see that they are unified, right? These colors are united by a, a bit of a, of a desaturated and dark atmosphere. Well, let me show you what happens when you come in here and you try to make these colors out of your head. What if what happens in, if instead of thinking like this is blue, you just grab in here a saturated blue, a saturated red, a saturated purple. These are the colors that I myself would think of by default when somebody would tell me red scarf, blue hat. But this one right here is not a family. These are colors all over the place. They are not connected to each other. So the best way for me to connect these colors is to include an atmosphere. In this case, I wanted the shadows to be purple, blue, dark, and this influences the whole scene. So check out what happens when I come in here. I create a new layer. I select a brush, sample the color of the atmosphere. <clears throat> And I start painting this atmosphere on each of the colors that I have in here. And I come and I lower the opacity. Check out what happens. Suddenly, the colors that were not a family become the colors that I had here on the left. Suddenly, the colors that had nothing to do with each other become a family. So this is my personal way, my favorite way of making sure the colors work well with one another all right so guys if you have any questions please let me know so i hope that you enjoyed the tutorial as i told you at the beginning of the video this is just one of the videos out of more than 50 that go step by step through every topic from introduction to digital painting construction and perspective values and color and everything all of that is inside the course of digital painting master and a lot of that knowledge I am going to be sharing completely for free before the release of the course. All you have to do to participate is to go down to the description, click the link, put in your mail, and you will be receiving everything to your mailbox. Okay, so thank you for watching this video till the end, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.